Hello everyone, Madman here from Madman Gaming, and today we'll be playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Randomizer by Lake Utero. All credits will be in the description. So let's get into this. Starting this randomizer, but that was... Welcome to the Breath of the Wild Randomizer, developed by Waikyu Taro. You can support this and my other projects on Patreon, where you can get early access to new mods slash updates on patreon.com slash Waikyu Taro. If you're streaming or uploading the mod, everything will be in the description, and I already gave the credits. So I'm playing the Game of Nam version. We're going to go goal mode. We're going to do randomized goals. We're going to choose nine. Also, this is some epic music. Okay, let's see. we got four sun shrooms, kill water blight. Kill two black hinoxes, obtain the travel medallion, that's gonna be hard. Obtain the master sword, collect six baked palm fruit, obtain Mesa's grace, kill fire play, take a photo of the lord of the mountain. Sure, why not? Good luck and have fun. Okay. Well, oh, randomizer staff. Just gonna. I'm gonna press B to get out of this, or I guess A, because my settings are. Alright, first chest. We have a hearty Duran Durian. And second chest we have Snow Boots. And then there is this is the one forced environmental change at the beginning of the game. I'm pretty sure this is always the same. Either way, this looks epic. Amazing view. What? I just got that armor. Don't go laughing about that. I don't care that it's your apple. Bye. I'm taking that. No, I don't care. Bye. I'm taking the torch as well. And I can't you don't get to know why. Yeah, I don't need you to tell me how to lock on. What? Hey, I think this mod's adding a few other crazy things. Yeah, we're just going to ignore that. I just got robbed by the game itself. How can you not see me? I'm just gonna go past you. You're not really important. Made it to the tower, which is good. And now I've gotten the map, which is great. So I know where I'm going, and mainly just because that activates the shrines. And getting shrines is important. Very, very important. Yeah, that worked. All right, old man. I don't really want to talk to you, so make this quick. All right, goodbye. No, you don't get to show me anything. Goodbye. Oh, of course. Of course, because that makes sense, right? And they just took my bow away. This is going to be painful. If I get hit by that Molduga, it's going to hurt. Alright. Got the chest, though. I, want, I really want to see what's in this randomized chest. One th crazy thing about this mod is it can stop you from saving the game. Yeah, now the game just keeps taking all of my items. How nice of it. Oh. Oh. Isn't that nice? It's war armor already. Hope we don't lose that or else we won't be able to complete the Varuda quest. And that is a very... That quest is probably one of the harder ones to actually complete because you need a specific item to get through it. Bomb arrows you can buy, but and for the other ones, but you can't buy everything else. But 
the Thunder Helm. And chest number two, we have Icy Meat. I don't know. There's a Mulduga. This is bad. Oh no. I did just get paid, so. Alright, it says bomb trial. What am I really gonna get? Oh, Magnesis! Alright, let's head back to the Magnesis shrine then. I saw this um short video, one of the like a YouTube short by Wake Tutero. There's actually a check in the game to make sure you got the rune at the beginning. I was not aware of that. So if you completed the shrine without, like, completed Magnesis shrine without getting Magnesis, there's actually a check in the game to make sure you got Magnesis, so that you didn't somehow just skip it. Which is pretty interesting, because this mod actually has to then dis disable that check. Yeah. That would hurt your foot. Oh! We have a Serpentine Spear now. How, why did it just tell me to how to attack with a bow? And I got a spear. Really weird. Okay. Complete our first try and get our first random item from this. So, one funny thing did happen when, when I was playing this before by myself. Just not like a recording version of it. It'll give you a random item as well as your spirit orb. So I got a spirit orb as the random item. So I got two spirit orbs out of it, which was hilarious, but... I don't know what I got there. Maybe it just doesn't work on the first one. Weird. Of... A Roasted Amaranth. Number two, we have... A Stubbed Toe, and... Okay! The Phantom Helmet, I will take that. I will most certainly take that. We get... A... What do we get from this Korok? Energizing glazed seafood as well as the Korok seafood. Alright. Oh. Oh my goodness. Uh, that was the wrong one. Did you see that? Oh my goodness. No, you don't see me. Yeah, struggle. You can't get me. There's barriers. Experiment's changing. Oh, it's gonna be raining for a while now. Great. Stay back, Moduga. I don't have bombs, so I can't exactly defeat you. Done showing me all the tutorial hints. Finally. Took forever. Oh. Ooh. Sir. I think it. I actually think it's all good on tutorials now. Don't think it's gonna give me any more. What the heck? We're we gonna get. I'm thinking bombs. Oh. Wait, we just got stasis from stasis. All right, that's pretty interesting. Pretty crazy. What do we get from this trunk this time? We get a. Diamond. All right. I will most certainly only take that. And from this chest, we get wheat bread. Oh, I'm not liking this. All right. Wish me luck. That's one. 
Seriously? All right, one more. I just got the pot lid. I got it. Yes, it's dead. No! Wait, that's an ancient arrow. I really want that. Rest take the view. Come on. Give me absolutely give me something cold. Give me some natural cold gear. Hasty cream of vegetable soup. Oh joy. Ow. Where? No, not more of you. Just leave me alone. I don't want to die. I can't really fight you guys right now, so give me a break. Eh, I lost my shield. Alright, I know the environment changed, but is that it's still cold inside the shrine. Oh, that's evil. It's going to be cold through the entire map now. If I suggest we have... A shield. Oh my. And Rain, who have made this far in the video, I will be playing more of Hyrule GeoGuessr. Trust me. I saw how popular that was on my channel, so I'm definitely going to be playing more of it. Well, so I really don't know what all these Oct rocks are about. Well, to do, just gotta make sure I don't die. I think I... I'm not gonna wind bomb this just because of the, what, the sheer cold and stuff. You know, and that would just probably kill me if I went bombed. This is very simple to do. Be great. No, flame breaker armor. Well, that'd be great if it was hot. And it's cold, so that's not going to help me. And all environmental changes are reverting. Thank goodness. Because that was very, very hard. More flame maker armor? Seriously? I have five spirit orbs as well. It's just weird. That's kind of rude. I like that shirt. That always made me laugh. Now we have an excess amount of guardians and a very limited amount of shields. So limited, we have zero. Okay. Just stop trying to kill me! All of you. Come on. This nerve. How am I alive? I'm Alduga, question mark. That's Alduga, isn't it? That's gonna be bad. Yay, yeah, earrings. Can the Malduga even get in here? He shot a pot and I got a Ferrosh? I got Ferrosh's claw? Okay. Yeah. 
almost there. Um, I think the Muldugas behind the statue. Yes, I need hearts. I think there's something right here. I know that. Oh my! It's right there. That is just strange looking. Oh, that you could, you could just get some free stamina, so that's nice. I want to see how weird this looks. Got a screenshot of that for sure. Yay! Now we can glide. Because that's very crucial in this game. Okay. Goodbye. Yep. Go away. Sub your toe. Really? Guts? Okay. Well, I will see all of you in the next one. Goodbye.